Good morning, everybody. Well, it's getting that time of year when a lot of you are going to be making your way to Quartzsite, Arizona for their giant RV and tent show. As far as I know, it's one of the largest events of its kind. If you've never been to Quartzsite, this will give you an overview of what it's like. There's just miles and miles of desert out there where you can boondock in Quartzsite. In the town itself, there's also RV parks. There's not very many of them, and those spots do go pretty fast the closer it gets to the big tent show. Today, I'm going to show you a couple of camping spots where we've boondocked when we've been out here in Quartzsite. And I'm also going to take you to a few very interesting places that you might like to visit when you come out here. Dome Rock was a favorite boondocking spot for a lot of years for us. It's right off the 10 freeway, and it usually wasn't too crowded and was relatively quiet. Mosa Road is another boondocking spot we like. We camped here a couple of years ago with a group that was really a lot of fun. There are a lot of different groups that camp together out here. Last year we met some friends out here and had a great time. One of the neat things about this camp spot is it had a little box den that was right close by where we were camping. And early morning hours and then in the late afternoon hours, they would come out and they would lay on top of the, uh, the dirt mound there. I think we counted uh, maybe four, maybe five at a time were there. So I thought they were like little snake holes at first when we went for a walk out that way. But um, they're just, just tiny little holes and these foxes, they just fit right in there and go underground. Um, so I would say if you see something like this out here when you're in Quartzsite, be careful not to walk over it and step on it and for sure don't drive over it because little foxes live inside. The Quartzsite rock alignment off of Pomosa Road is left over from World War II. It consists of the word Quartzsite spelled out along 100 feet of the desert floor. The Quartzsite and Talios are located on the other side of Q Mountain off of a dirt road, not too far from town. They date back as far as 2,000 years, possibly created by the Cachin Indians. There's petroglyphs and Indian grinding holes out here. It's right along the Tyson Wash. Rumor has it that a safe full of gold is buried somewhere in Tyson Wash by here. So you said they, these are like 18 inches deep, huh? This, this one's 18 inches deep wow. into the granite. So they must have done a lot of grinding there. I would guess. And they, they live right beyond below here. Yeah, that is a really, really so, neat little spot. So I could oh, lay yeah. there and sleep and you could grind up the stuff and make me some pancakes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Climb down the little cliff and, you know, hand yeah. me breakfast. Yeah, it's almost like stair steps going down there. The gold dye mine was mined by Larry Erdman. He mined his claim for 63 years. After his death, people have decorated his stone cabin with memorabilia. It's definitely a sight to see. This is Joseph Cogne's stone cabin. He used to make ironwood bowls and lampstands. One of the buildings was his house and one was his workshop. We found this abandoned stone cabin at marker 0137. Some think it was the Coombs cabin. It actually belonged to a guy by the name of Bob Lambeth. He was killed in a shootout over a mining claim. There's what looks like a bed frame down here. And it probably goes at least five feet 
underground and we can see a few other buried pieces of metal and other buried things down below here it looks like uh, a house or two could have washed down the canyon here wow some interesting stuff here yeah i've seen some uh broken concrete that's come down the canyon in the wash wow This mine here on Q Hill, I believe it's the Stetler Mill and Shelite Mine. It was operated between 1951 and 1956. 4,000 tons of tungsten was mined until the government program was canceled. Fort Tyson was built in 1856 as protection from the Indians in the area. It's located on the corner of Main Street and Moon Mountain Road. Another off-road trail out here was to Bouse and Swansea. Bouse was one of the most secretive, heavily guarded military units in the United States during World War II. Swansea is 25 miles northeast of Bowes. At its peak, it had about 300 residents. Now under the control of BLM, they've shored up some of the buildings to help restore them. Last but not least is the Desert Bar, the Nelly E. Saloon in Parker, Arizona. It's only open on weekends, six miles on a dirt road in the middle of nowhere. Good food, good drinks, live music, a one-of-a-kind experience. Yeah, whenever anybody sees parking, grab it. We're going up top to look. A lot of people going down. That's yeah. good. guys found this video helpful we're gonna get back on the road and we'll catch up with you on our next adventure bye <laughs>